This is a remake concerning a video I put out like about a year ago and it has to do with the armies mentioned in Joel chapter 2 and Revelation chapter 9 and I'm here to say that they are not one and the same. Now in the video that I had put out like about a year ago I stated that they were one and the same. That's not the case. I apologize and I stand corrected. The army mentioned in Joel chapter 2 is the Lord's army. The one mentioned in Revelation chapter 9 is the enemy's army, and they ascend out of the bottomless pit. And how do we know that Joel chapter 2 is not one and the same with the army in Revelation chapter 9? If you read verse 11 in this chapter of the book of Joel, it makes it clear that this is the Lord's army. This is his camp. Verse 11 says, The Lord shall utter his voice before his army. For his camp is very great. Now let's take a look at another version of the Bible. This is the King James Version. Let's look up the Amplified Version of the Scriptures, which is one of my favorite versions, right next to the King James Bible. Okay, scrolling back down to verse 11. Let's read that verse one more time. It says, And the Lord utters His voice before his army for his host. Satan's host? No. The Lord's host is very great. They are strong, powerful, and execute God's word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can endure it? So there it is. It is the Lord's army, and it even mentions them as his host in the Amplified Version of the Bible. Joel chapter 2 and verse 11 confirms that they are not one and the same with the army in Revelation chapter 9. Now, going back to the King James Version. If you read verse 8, it says that neither one thrust upon another, they walk everyone in their path, and when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. Now spiritually speaking, it could mean that the 144,000 are the army of the Lord, as far as the body of believers goes, you know. So whatever devices are formed against them in the spirit, they will not be harmed by them. Now, as far as the supernatural army, including the host of heaven, this could very much apply to them as well. So if you were to take them into consideration and read this verse, it can also make sense why if they would fall upon the sword, human weaponry, they wouldn't be wounded. Why? Because they are an angelic army, the host of heaven. That is the army, as well as the 144,000, which this chapter of the book of Job and this verse, verse 8, is referencing. It is the angelic host of heaven that when they fall upon the sword, they are not wounded because they are not mortals. Likewise, the mortal 144,000 or even the elect church, whatever devices are formed against them, whatever sword or form of weaponry in the spirit world that is set against them, they will not be wounded by it because they are protected by the angelic host, by God's protection. Amen. So, I just wanted to bring this out 
and clear up any confusion because it is very important for us when we make mistakes to correct ourselves in order not to mislead any of the brothers and sisters in Christ. And I notice that when uh, brothers and sisters, especially those that have YouTube channels, slip up, they don't correct themselves. And I think in the times we are in now, it's critical because others might look at your videos and say, well, this brother or sister in Christ is off, you know. They start looking at you funny and suspecting you of being one of these false uh, believers on YouTube. So I stand corrected. I apologize. I know that I have a few videos, especially my earlier ones, that I made that are not without errors and I intend to correct them as I bring out more information. So I just wanted to clear the confusion that the army mentioned in Joel chapter 2 is not Satan's host. Satan's host is mentioned in Revelation chapter 9 and they ascend out of the bottomless pit. They are a supernatural army and you might not even see them. They might inhabit people or manifest themselves in different ways. I don't know. That's for another video. I'm just here to point out that Joel chapter 2 is the army of the Lord. It is a supernatural army. When they fall upon the sword, they are not wounded, as it says here in verse 8. Likewise, the body of believers, the elect, when they fall upon the sword of the enemy, spiritually speaking, not literally, but figuratively, they are not wounded because they are protected. So I'm um, referencing verse 8 in a spiritual way as well as a physical way. And verse 11 confirms that this is in fact the Lord's army. This is his camp. So with that being said, I hope all is well. Be blessed. And until next time, shalom.